Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got a very special unboxing for y'all. We're going to be going through an OG shoe that hasn't been released in almost 20 years in this form, man. So really excited to open this one up. I uh, already picked it up. I actually picked this up from Finish Line. Uh, there's been a lot of controversy, man. I'm not going to lie. There's been a lot of controversy with this shoe uh, due to defective pairs. So there has been reports of the... Uh, new book that was used on the shoe bleeding into the midsole uh the coloring being very bold uh, i guess just was bleeding in several pairs man so a lot of pairs were sent back to nike making it a lot more limited than it was supposed to be but end of the day a lot more people took l's than than they thought man so i was blessed enough to actually grab two personal pairs well two pairs in my personal size i will be getting rid of the other one but i was fortunate enough to grab two so that I can compare and contrast a little bit and make sure I get a good one so they ain't gonna get me but um I did pick this one up at finish line got my name and everything on here I'm not gonna lie man when I looked at it under the finish line light I could have sworn I could have sworn my pair was pink man I could have sworn I'm looking at it I'm like uh my boy this is looking a little pinkish and it wasn't my usual finish line workers. It was this new little Timmy looking dude. I wasn't in the mood to argue. I mean, I tried to get another pair. I was like, y'all got any other size 10s? He's like, nah, no. I mean, I, f I chose peace that yesterday. It was yesterday I chose peace. So I wasn't about to cause a scene or anything like that. I took my shoe. I already got it for under retail anyway. So whatever. But uh, I'm gonna look at them under the light again, man really examined them when I got to the car like I don't know they weren't they weren't looking as pink to me so maybe it was a subliminal thing maybe it was just in my head because all the commotion going on maybe I just had it in my mind that the pair was gonna be pink at the midsole but we'll see man let's just get into the shoe on a Saturday first things first I'll show y'all that tag I know there's a lot of tag hunters out there want to take a good look at that if I can't get that to focus I'll get a get some b-roll or something out here come on things playing games come back to me all right so uh yeah let's just get into it got your speckle spickle spackle paper Woo. I've always wanted the Carmines, man. I've always wanted the Carmines. Last time they released in 2014, I just didn't have the funds to go grab them. And woo. I got them. We got them, man. We got them, bro. See, now, as I'm looking at it under my light here, I'm not really seeing the pink. My thing is that the white from the top is different from the white on the midsole so that's what's that's what's throwing it off a lot because at the bottom it's more like a ice white whereas the top is more like a like a matted out white it's kind of hard to explain but if you look at it in person you'll see there's a clear difference you know from that top and that bottom i don't know if you'll see it here in the light but when i show b-roll you'll definitely uh you definitely will get that view but these are so clean, man. It's just something about Jordan 6s, bro. Jordan 6s just bring back that, that 90s feel at the end of the day. Like Jordan 5s and Jordan 6s just have that that feeling. You know what I'm saying? They have that nostalgia. They have that, that just throwback 
They restore the feeling, man. They restore the feeling. That's all I can say on that. But um, yeah, let me pull them both out. These guys are laced up dummy tight right now. Looks like I'm about to play a full 48 in these guys. Uh, Jordan did actually rock these in game. So that's what actually makes these special to a lot of the OG sneakerheads in the game. There's always, you know, a soft spot, soft spot in the heart for uh, for the kicks that Jordan actually rocked in game, because it just just brings back even more of that nostalgic feeling, man. Now I think he did only rock these for about half a season after the uh, All Star game in I want to say this is the '96 season. Uh, after the All Star game, he did start rocking the Jordan Seven, debuted that, and then started rocking the Seven from then on out. But um, yeah, man, these are just a overall. These are so hard, bro. The red on here is just different, you know. It's not that classic Chicago Bulls red. It's more of a a, a blood red, for lack of a better term. It's kind of just a little dark, a little heavier. Has more of a a cranberry wine tint to it. Uh, but it's just so clean, man. It looks so good with that white. That contrast is crazy. It's like a loud shoe, but not at the same time like the red is just perfect you know the balance is crazy so right now uh resale right now is hitting for about 300 uh currently in most sizes uh depending on your size you might be able to get a little cheaper but right around 300 mark for most sizes right now uh which was a little higher than expected most people thought it would settle around the 250 range I mean, once online pairs and everything come in, prices will dip down. I would say that they'll settle around the 260, 275 range for sure. Um, if you want to get a pair, I would say hold out a little bit. Uh, there should be a couple restocks, I'd say at least. Most people got word that this shoe was going to be a lot more limited than uh, anticipated. I mean, some people started going crazy for real. I saw some videos in New York. People pushing, trampling, like, I was like, yo, for some car mines? For some car mines, bro? Like, they were doing a lot, yo. They were doing the most for sure. I mean, people go crazy for the OGs, bro, at the end of the day. Like, I'm trying to tell you, like, these are for real. These are definitely the truth, man. They're definitely, definitely cold. Definitely needed a pair in the collection. I don't think my pair is pink. I mean, I think we're good. It might be in my head. I don't know. I might be going crazy, but yo, know, let me know if you guys got a pink pair. Let me know. Let me know if you guys got a good pair. Like, I don't know, man. We'll see. But I definitely got some dope, dope, dope sneaker reviews coming for y'all in the next couple of weeks. Uh, stay tuned, bro. I like to say, stay tuned. Subscribe. Drop a like. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys cop. That's it. Peace.